What is up, Radix? Welcome back to the Chop Shop DLC drip feed. So, we officially got our first drip feed car of a DLC today, December 21st, 2023, and that is the Bravado Dorado. So, first drip feed car of the update. You can see it's free for me because I unfortunately have, well, not free, it's on discount for me because I unfortunately have GTA Plus. That's kind of ridiculous how even you, you know, you're paying the subscription, you're only getting like a little discount on it, not even free. That's pretty crazy. Um, but normal price 1.375 million a GTA plus price even though I don't recommend paying for it only reason I did is because I wanted to showcase the new Vinewood garage and all that stuff but yeah um, still over a million dollars regardless so I already went ahead and bought it here it is pretty um, interesting older you know like late 90s off-roader slash early 2000s and you can definitely tell, you know, it's uh, <laughs> it, it's aged in that era for sure. It's uh, you can you can tell a mile away that this is not a, a brand new like newer vehicle. So it's primarily based on the first generation Dodge Durango, a very, very random addition for sure. A lot of people in the community were wanting Rockstar to add in the Durango Hellcat, you know, the newer one, um, but. Uh, Rockstar partially listened. They gave us the old Durango. There you go. Hope you're happy, guys. <laughs> anyway, all right. Let's go ahead and check out the customization. What can we do to Dorado in the SUVs class. Durango, Dorado. That eh, kind of makes sense. All right. Arch covers. Primary. Okay. I guess if you want to keep like secondary bumpers and then all right makes sense carbon carbon fiber arch covers on your 90s suv okay <laughs> primary street what does street do oh they're a little a little larger okay you can think it i can do it sport with a wind whatever you call that wind guard wind deflector okay um hmm I, mean, I guess we'll do the street. I do like the secondary contrast if we're going to end up doing that. So we'll Not do that. Armor, brakes, bull bars. Chrome bull bar. That's a weird bull bar. It's a tiny little bull bar down there. Okay. That one. Got the raid bull bar. Got the rhino bull bar. I quite like that. It looks kind of like a police interceptor bull bar. Ooh, bull bar two. That looks really good. How but many the cars you got in this color car? fog covers. Okay. Note the fogs. All right. I like this one. Let's do this. We're definitely going to do an off-road build out of this. Bumpers. Primary. Carbon. A carbon bumper. <laughs> okay. Smoothed. What the, what's the difference? I legitimately can't tell the difference. Is it the bottom? Oh, it's the bottom. Okay. Whatever like the say. what do you call that the um kick plate no the, the the plate on the bottom skid plate yeah um smooth and you got the street oh okay so if you want to do like a like a street truck build out of this you can you know you have some options here so that's good oh look at that wow so you can go different routes with this depending on how you want to build it make a street truck out of it or an off-roader okay i quite like Life that um, I definitely want to keep the most like off-roading looking bumper because that's the build I'm, I'm going to go for here. So, I think the stock would be the, the best one, honestly, because we get the skid plate look down there. Yeah, and we get the secondary color. We'll keep that. Rear bumpers. Extended. What's the... Do you need what's the drink? difference between... Or something? It goes lower? I mean, barely. <laughs> barely. What is that? Like, you, you can tell by the exhaust tip, the amount that it changes. That That's really the... Okay. All right. Rein, primary reinforced. Secondary. Yeah, I guess we'll probably go with the reinforced one just to match our front bull bar. So we have something back here. Okay. We'll do secondary, though, because I want to keep the secondary color. Okay. Engine, front fenders. 
Secondary or carbon, okay. Grill, primary stock, chrome, mesh. The stock grill looks very, very similar to its real life counterpart. I feel like changing that it doesn't really look all that great. I do want to get rid of the chrome though. I, I like the primary stock, so we'll do that. Hood, secondary, carbon, Making smooth. Well, again, the stock one's very similar to its real life counterpart. Um, oh my god, that is hilarious. A Dodge, Dodge Challenger hood. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Now, they did offer a hood like this on the Dodge Rams. I think in like 20, 2014, 2015-ish, they offered a hood like that on them. That's, that's hilarious. Ooh, I like that. The Ridge? It's kind of like the stock one, but like a bit more... Okay. I do like that a lot. Oh, the Aggressor Hood. Oh, like the... Okay. Kind of like a Hellcat reference sort of hood. You know, Viper sort of Hellcat reference with the Ram Air and the little heat extractors. That's pretty cool. The Twin Inlet. That looks cool, too. Wow. I'm very surprised. Some good hood options on here. Um... I do like this one the most though, the Ridge Hood, we'll do that. Lights, we'll leave them stock. Liveries, black stripes, white stripes, dual gray, okay. Dual white, offset, oh, that looks pretty cool. Dorado, six liter V8, wow. <laughs> oh, and the yellow, ooh, the Dorado billboard. Oh, this is similar to like the one on the um, Gauntlet Classic, right? Wow. So was the other hood option. That's 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 cool. Flames, okay. <laughs> Tribal, okay. And then camo. Wow. Hmm. I mean most of the time I'm not too much into the livery thing, but this one does look pretty cool. I don't know, I like this one a lot too. The Dorado on the side there. Hmm. I don't like this one. We'll do that. Usually, I don't really do liveries, but I quite like that. Rockstar also fix a plate issue, guys. Yeah, they just hit half your plates. Isn't that cool? <laughs> uh, you all right, I'll put my America plate on here. Respray. So for this one, I'm gonna go with a red. I mean, I, I think the Durango six. It just looks good in red. Um, I think a classic red though. I don't want any pearlescent in it. So we'll do classic Bye. Torino red. Secondary is our secondary parts. Which all one color? I don't. I don't think it looks right. Um, so we'll do. Uh, you know, we'll do a matte black actually. Don't she look pretty? Kremlin for this thing goes on the doors. Okay. Roof accessories. Oh, and an antenna. Okay. Roof rack. Raid roof rack. Ooh, with the light bar. Probably gonna go with that one. With fogs. Off-road rack with like the luggage and stuff. And then you have a roof box. I like this one. We'll do that. Looks Light bar. Skirts. Arc steps. I don't want to ruin our ground clearance too much. Even though that, that does finish off the look there, but... Hmm. Street. Okay. Sport steps. These are huge. That's too big. Carbon sport. Oh, and then you got like the off-road style steps. I actually like Life that. You, and you got the, the other one. These are way too low. Plastic running. Wow. Quite a few different sidestep options. Um, I do like this one. That's going to ruin our ground clearance. Honestly, I think it looks better with nothing at all there. You know? I think we get more ground clearance and everything. I kind of I, I quite like it without anything there. Spoiler. What? Spoiler upgrades. Do you need a drink? Okay, and it gives you a traction benefit. Of course it does. Uh, why? <laughs> I guess we'll probably end up going with the arrow spoiler. I mean, it looks like the least intrusive, I think. It's this one. This one, I don't like the way it curves. Look at that. It's got a hole there. I don't really like that. Um, okay. What other ones we have? Whoa. Jeez, why would you put this on here? <laughs> okay. Of course, Rockstar. All right, we'll do the... The arrow spoiler, I guess. You've got an Suspension, you can lower it. I guess if you're doing like a street build, you know, I would definitely lower it all the way. Transmission. Turbo. This turbo 
wheels. Definitely gonna change these. Go to the off road category. The stock wheels are nice, you know, they give you those sort of like 90s, early 2000s Dodge vibes, but we can't paint them. So I don't, I don't want to leave them in chrome. I, I would definitely want some nice custom black wheels. Um, and I'm thinking either the Concave Rally Masters or the Drag SPL. So I think will look really good. What else we got here? Yeah, I think, I think, honestly, I think the Drag SPLs look really good. We'll do that. Then in black, very nice. I don't know if we'll maybe do the tire design. Eh, I think a little bit too much going on without that. Windows, black amounts. That's all the options there. All right, exit to ground, let's take it for a drive. I do like the fact that they gave you the option, you know, that you can do a street build or an off-road build, you know, with the different parts we have. So it is snowing in GTA Online, of course, with the uh, time of this recording, with the Christmas update that just released. A filming video will be coming shortly. Um, so yeah, this is the interior. They copy pasted like the OG 2013 interior, which I don't mind. As a matter of fact, this looks maybe a, a tad bit too modern. <laughs> for a, a 1998 uh, Durango, but all right, floor it. Not bad. Moves decently. Not fast though, that's for sure. Not fast and not quick either. <laughs> but we're going, sort of. And it is snowing, so, you know, we don't have the best, um, I can't really give you guys too much of an opinion on the, uh, the handling and stuff, but I can say it feels very stable uh, in the snow here. Very, very stable. I mean, it is a 4x4, four four, so it makes sense. Accelerates decently, actually. And the brakes are really good on the snow. <laughs> that, that's quite impressive, actually. Look at that. Wow. I'm like braking. Usually, when you drive in the snow, you gotta brake a lot extra. Let's bring the speed a little higher. And then let's slam on the brakes here. And brake. Wow. Not bad. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Does any of our extra lights work? Ooh, they all work. What? The light bar and the fog lights. What? Okay, Rockstar. Okay. I see you. I see you. <laughs> they're, they're tired of uh, people like me complaining. Why don't the lights work? They're like, okay, okay, we'll make the lights work. <laughs> that is awesome. That's so cool. Oh man, that's I like that. I like that. Alright, alright. Not much to say about the driving, so I'm just gonna pull over here and open all the doors and stuff. Okay, vehicle doors. Uh, that's in manage vehicles. I'm still getting used to this menu. Preferences. The, the menus are nice, but there's so many things hidden behind other things. It's kind of annoying sometimes, but... Um, got the engine model here. It looks pretty good, actually. Is that a newer engine model? Wow. With a little cold air intake there, or in this case, the hot air intake. <laughs> um, looks good, actually. That's not bad. The interior, which I, I honestly don't mind in the case of this one. A, a little bit too modern, but it's fine. It's fine. You know, not... I, I'm actually quite impressed. It's This is... This vehicle was actually done right, the customization engine model all the lights work you know you can make two different builds out of it street or off-road um, it's the price is not outrageous considering GTA's you know the current economy yes I know it's over a million dollars but it's not two million you know um, all things considering I I'd say it's kind of worth it <laughs> actually it, it kind of is it kind of is I know it's an old Durango but it Rockstar did it right they did so I don't notice any bugs or anything either so yeah Pretty good vehicle. If you like older 90s off-roaders. <laughs> Anyways, again, guys, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.